In this video, I am going to do a little backyard experiment and show you how a waterproofing membrane or some type of sealant, some type of coating that you wrap around the bottom of a wood fence post can actually trap moisture. And I've been talking about this in some of my videos for quite some time and don't think that people are getting the message here. So here goes. I'm going to wrap a little piece of wood, my uh, miniature fence post there, with a piece of, let's call it waterproofing membrane. And uh, you can get this at any home improvement center. And I've seen this a lot. My neighbor actually just did it. But there it is. You can see where it's formed. Any water that gets between the wood and the membrane on the top is going to leak into the bottom or any water that gets absorbed into the wood. Now, as part of the experiment, I am going to wrap our little miniature fence post with cellophane and then apply the waterproofing membrane over that so that I can actually pull the fence post out of the waterproofing membrane. And uh, then you will be able to see the little cup that has formed. And again, I just want to point out, anybody who thinks that you're going to be able to wrap the membrane tight enough against the wood fence post to where it isn't going to um, let any water pass. You're still going to be dealing with the water that absorbs into the lumber and then works its way down. Now let's go ahead and remove the little cup we have formed at the bottom. Fill it with water to prove my point. And for anybody who's familiar with this product, you are not going to have a problem with the experiment. You're going to understand exactly what's going on. But for those of you who do not, you can now see that something like this is now going to trap water. It's going to keep water out from the outside and keep water in from the inside. And I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, I am going to put a link here to another video that might be a little more helpful about uh, fence posts and some of the different things you might want to consider when installing them. So this seems to be a problem that's getting bigger. I know a lot of people um, think that, hey, if I can just keep the moisture out, separate the soil from the wood, separate the concrete from the wood, that everything is going to last longer. And that's going to be fine as long as you don't create a trap like we have here, something that is going to trap the water in some type of a container that we have formed around our fence post.